I want to be the very best builder that ever was. And in today's video, I'm bringing Pokemon to Lego Fortnite. We went ahead and built the starter town on live stream, and it was such a fun process. So smack the like button if you were there, and smack that like button because this video is a banger. Let's go. So yeah, we're going to start with the trees, or at least some of the tree line. I got to kind of get an idea of where everything is going to sit. I want this to be kind of a new take on the town. Not necessarily, but sort of kind of a new, a new take. Let me know down in the comments as we're constructing here what your favorite pokemon to play is like which game you beat maybe which game you beat first or which game maybe you're playing right now um and also what your favorite pokemon in general is maybe your favorite gym leader favorite battle favorite moments feel free to share all of it okay so this is the corner of town i think it's just fence from here these work really well Yeah, like this. And then I can put the water on the inside. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It doesn't look like it now, but it will. It will. I promise. Fence. There's a sign, though. There is a sign. So, we'll go... Yeah, and it cuts off sort of by the end. Some sort of sign needs to go right here. Plants, for sure. Gotta go with the plants. Okay, so I got to bring this up two floors. And then just fill this in with walls, I think. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, never mind. Okay, it's roof time. It's roof time. So what if... I took these, brought them out two studs on e on each side, and just start pinning these to the edges. Outside. Oh, no way. Thank goodness we have the dimensions to make this work. So. Okay. There we go. Professor Oak's lab. What do we think? I literally can't get these any lower. I don't know how to get them to display the way I want to, but that sort of kind of works. It looks like a table here. We'll put a computer. Hold up. Are these circle? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Yo! Oh my gosh! This is this is perfect! A mixture of a lot of different pieces. So like friendly neighborhood, Moise Isley, Daily Bugle, um, even the Tomato Temple went into this. We mixed a lot of pieces to get the exterior of Professor Oak's lab in. And, uh, man, I gotta say, it turned out pretty good on the outside. Ah! 
Professor Oak's lab! The only regret I have is not making it a little bit bigger on the inside, but... To be fair, inside the game, the dimensions of the building on the outside do not match what you see on the inside. So, cut me a little slack. We're still making it work. We've got Professor Oak's lab almost fully constructed here. Uh, I think what I want to try to do is just get some sort of wall, like window. We need a window for the back. All right, guys, who's your starter? Frost Spider, Desert Spider, or Grassland Spider? What's it going to be? <laughs> Who's going to be your friend for your Pokemon journey? Let's try to place one of these houses. This is going to be interesting. Red doors. Looks like we can use anything that's white, Frost Pine, or Tan. Let's see. I don't know how much room there needs to be, but I think we could start the house. What if I flipped it? We can just throw another one here real quick. Just like that. I did it. Oh my goodness. I did not think that was getting done. So you know what? Full send. That looks so good. Um, fridge. All right, sometimes, man, even when life is tough, you just gotta say screw it and enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, just be like, you know what? Things are bad right now, but I'm gonna still treat myself. Why? Because I'm here, bro. And what else are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do? You know, counter look to it. So we'll go with that. And then back into the electronics. We're gonna get that computer thing set up. Guess which TV? Probably be this one. Seats. Definitely these guys, right? Yes, okay. I think these smaller windows fit the vibe a little bit better. Holy cow, okay. There's supposed to be windows on that side. Uh, okay. Bed in the corner. There's a massive amount of rugs. Oh, if only I could split these in half. Half bookcases would go so hard. Uh, Okay, we'll go with this. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This is new. I'll take that. Double stack. Find another desk. And then just for a little extra, we'll give up a plant. Maybe this one right there. The starter home is complete, technically. See what it looks like from the air, I guess. So far, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good like i said we got to back up that tree line just like one or two finish the tree line off and then get the rest of these buildings in which i think is just the rival house 
All right. Here we go. My gosh, chat. If the interior doesn't call for this getting hidden, I'm going to cry. It's not a perfect square, but it'll it'll do. Go. That's sink. Grab you. Let's just do. Life is good, yeah. At least gonna throw. What if we just do? Like this. Kind of give it that look that we're looking for. Caveman for a computer here. I think this will be a good spot. And then we'll go electronics. Pull out that TV. I think if I had to give this a good raw score so far... Out of 10, an honest 7.5 out of 10 so far. This is looking really good. This is Oak's Lab. We've got the Pokemon here on the table. So you can pick between the Desert Spider, the Grassland Spider, or the Frostland Spider. Those are your starter Pokemon. Uh, we've got the Hero Base, so the main character house. With the mom obviously waiting for your arrival home from your adventures. If you go upstairs, you'll see your bedroom here. Really wish they would fix the visual glitch on the TV, but it is what it is. We've got like the computer, the setup, and then obviously the bed in the corner. So I think this turned out pretty decent. I added a pool table to the corner just to kind of fill it in a little bit. Here's the rival house. Right, so before you head off on your adventures, you got to get your friend ready to go. He's up in his room prepping stuff, getting his maps and whatnot. But yeah, we've got the three essential buildings of Pal- Or, I guess this is a mixture of Twin Leaf Town and Pallet Town to start. Definitely a starter spot in Pokemon. Okay, so this is where we ended on the live stream. We only have a few more details to add in, which is just like the tree line and then just some detailing on the houses. So let's get right in and just finish this project, huh? So we're going to start in the hero's home. This is where you and your mom live when you load into the game of Pokemon. You come here, you can rest up your party, talk to your mom. Although, if we're being honest, I hardly ever came home. So we've got the living room and the staircase to go up to my bedroom where we have a TV, a couch, and our computer with our book stuff, and then that weird bed in the corner. Over here, we have the rival house, which always sits right next to ours with that same exact red roof they're always trying to be like us but they can never be like us it is a very similar interior we don't have all the colors and stuff necessary to make this as accurate as i'd like but i thought we did a pretty good job what do you think tricky treater regardless of his opinion let's go upstairs where i did add like a little extra thing going on here 
and I kind of moved around the look of this bedroom. It's got like this couch with the TV in the middle and then like he's got his computer and stuff up against the wall. It was quite a doozy trying to figure out which bedroom I was building, either the Pallet Town or the Twin Leaf bedroom. I couldn't really find great representations of either, and I was almost tempted to whip up the switch and turn on Pokemon Pearl, but I decided, you know what? This is pretty good. The rival house, he oh, that's how you know he didn't like it. He walked out on purpose, waited for me to leave, and then came back to sit down again. Wow, okay, you know what? Whatever. It's, it's weird. You don't like the house, but you have no problem residing in it. Okay, buddy. It was kind of difficult figuring out what we wanted to use for the Pokeballs. We got it figured out. So if you go up to these items, you'll see a different variation of spider on each one. That is kind of to represent the Pokeballs, and you're supposed to pick which starter you want. And since we didn't get Silas, uh, I just went ahead and threw a wizard down. So this is my Professor Oak. I actually love how this building turned out, and there isn't much left to show you in Pallet Town. I know I'm starting to get an itch to go catch them all. I don't know about you guys, so I'm going to go play a little bit of Pokemon. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the canopy. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. Take it easy, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.